We know y'all came out of church and y'all y'all feel real good because we know God is a good God. God is a great God. Right. So we just got a little bit more information we want y'all to see. Now, my brother, come here real quick. Yes, sir, real short. So, according to this sign, you know about the 12 tribes of Israel because you came out of church, right? Well, we got some questions we don't ask the pastor, so... Um, hey, sis, come on real quick. What's your name? Jackie. My name is Johan, and nice to meet you, Jackie. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. So, right now... What's the girls think Christ is purple and red. Purple and red. Okay, good. So, we want to show y'all something. We know y'all came out of church, and y'all just learned some good things, so we want to expound on some more things. So, for example, give me a round of revelations. We're going to show y'all the color of Christ, okay, according to the Bible. Because I know in churches, they uh, a lot of times when you look at Google or anything, uh, some churches have a, a depiction of Christ as being a so-called Caucasian, right? A lot of churches, right? So we're going to show you according to the Bible what, what God said. All right, read this for me. The book of Revelation, chapter 1. I'm sorry, verse 1? Yes, sir. Verse 1. So, so I want everybody to understand we're in Revelation right now. So we're going to describe Christ out of Revelation. So keep the scripture in mind. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revealing of Jesus Christ. Go to 14. Sir. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said Christ, our Messiah, the one that we worship, has hair that's white and woolly. Now, if you look at my sister's hair right here, what does she got right here? On that, that, that puff, right? That's the wool that Christ has. Right. The same hair you have, Jesus Christ had that same exact hair. He looks just like you. All right. All right. So read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we know our people have woolly hair. Yep. Is that true? True. All right, keep going. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. So for example, we can see your feet right now. We can see your little sister's feet right here. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now what color is brass, sis? Gold. Gold? Brown, right? Yeah, brown, there you go, brown, 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 brown. like a brown. <laughs> so his feet were a brown. Okay, go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. And you take that, and you you take that color, you burn it in the furnace. It's gonna be very dark, dark. right? Yep. So right there, you see that Christ was a dark-skinned man. Right. He yep. is a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, just like you and I. Yep. He looks just like us. But you know, we've been taught in uh, in places that Christ was white. Right. Or if he's not white, they'll say he doesn't have a color, or he's a he's a spirit. He just doesn't he doesn't exist. But we know that Christ has a body, according to the revelation that John said. All right. Now, one thing I want to I want to say is that we're not out here to harm anybody or to to put to harass anybody. We're just here to, to teach the laws of God. Now, do you believe that the laws are done away with, or are right, we do have laws that we have to keep? Yep. We have to keep laws, right? Yep. Okay. All praise. Give me a Matthew five and seventeen real quick. Come on, girl. The book of Matthew, chapter five. Uh, take, look at that flyer, sis. We're out here for our people, okay? That flyer has a lot of good information on there. We're here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the children of Israel. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 to 6 real quick. Hey, brother. Hey, why you, hey, listen to this, sis, while you leave, all right? God says you're the children of Israel. You're the best thing that ever happened to this planet. Right. We, we're out here for love. We love our people, right. according to the Bible, all right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. God says you people are a holy people. All right? The word holy means to be separate and set apart. He chose you to be holy. Keep going. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. You are a special people according to God. God said you are. He chose you to be that. Keep going. Unto himself above. He said you're supposed to be above. Go ahead. All people. That are upon the face of the earth. You are a special people unto the Lord thy God. You're above everybody on this earth. That's what God said about you. He said he placed you above every other nation. Right. That's the love of God. All right? It might not seem like it right now because we don't keep the laws. God said if we keep the laws, we're going to be above everybody. Okay? We fall away from what we're supposed to be doing. For what, for example, hey, my brother, I see a lot of people out here. Hey, excuse me, sir. How you doing? Come over here, we'll come and show you something. According to the Bible. Read this real quick. Read um, give me Leviticus uh 21, verse 5. Read that. Alright. Hey, my sister in the dress. Yeah, bring her over here. She has a modest dress on. That's good. Well, it should be a little short, I mean a little longer, but. My sister with the red got a long dress on. That's modest. That's a good thing according to the Lord. Right. I'm glad my sister's not out here whoring herself out. That's a good thing unto the Lord. You're doing a great thing. Read that. 
The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. This is a simple law that the Most High said that we should follow. Our men are to have hair on their head, if they not to shave their heads, okay? Now we got some more people come out of the church. And how you doing, sis? You doing all right? God is good, right? All the time. That's what I'm talking about. We, we serve a mighty God, all right? And our God said that you are special people unto the Lord. He said that you're supposed to be above. We're not supposed to be in the lower state. Our people are supposed to be above everybody else. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. We're just here to teach that we love our people according to the Bible. Right. We're here to teach our people that God is love. We know what love is, right? God loves you, right, sis? That's what I'm talking. We're gonna show you what love is. Uh, for, uh yeah, you got me, First John. And my brother with the hat. Yeah, come over here too, bro. We got some love for you. We wanna show you what love is? Read that. The book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Now, since we're gonna show what love is according to the Bible, because we're out here to show love. All right. Well, they to expound more on the Bible because we know you just came out of church and you learned some good things. I just want to show you a little bit more according to the Bible about your history. Read that. Verse three. For this is the love of God. So God is telling us how do we show love to him? OK, that we keep his commandment. So keeping the commandments of God is how we show love to God. All right. That's it's, it's plain for us. God says this is how you show love. You keep the commandments. This is the history that we teach right here, sis. Let me ask you a question. You know about the children of Israel? Yeah. We read about it all, all throughout the Bible, right? How Moses um, led us out of captivity, you know, from Pharaoh, right? Yeah. Did you know that you descend from the same people? Yes. Those is you do, all, all praising. Deuteronomy 76, real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna show you one more thing with that, sis, because God says you are a special people, Absolutely. all right? You're supposed to be set apart from everything, from all the nonsense of this world. Like we try to do every day. We try to separate ourselves from the wickedness of this world, right? Read this for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. You and your people are holy. Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now, how do you feel out of all the people in the world, God chose your people to be special? That's a that's that's some good news right there. That's the good, that's the gospel. God chose your people to be special. Keep going. Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now I want you to read that part again. Read that last part. Because remember he said you are a special people unto himself, right? Read that last part. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that you are special people above every other nation. Because you realize when God took us out of the hand of the Egyptians, what did he do to the Egyptians? You remember, sis? Yeah. When he led when he led the children of Israel out of Egypt, what did he do to the Egyptians? They drowned most of them. He drowned most of them, right? Yeah. That's what he did for us. You're the children of Israel. All of us right here standing here, we are the children of Israel. God loves us. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.